peak width is another important parameter in XRD analysis. It provides a lot of information about the materials. This is a common XRD pattern. If you look into every peak, there is a width of the peak here. I just magnify this peak here and you can see that this peak is a width. So this width of the peak provides a lot of information. Let's discuss one by one. Peak width is a function. This means peak width is basically depending on the crystallinity. If we have a good crystal, uh, if we grow a quality crystal and there is a long range order of atoms, so this means that we will have not this broader peaks. We will have very short peak. The second thing is the disorder or defects in the material. We know that uh, no material is free from defects. So because of these defects, uh, we have this broader peaks. The third important thing is the stress and strains. We know that there is a residual stresses in a material. A residues mean not applied from outside. It is internal stresses, residual. And it is tensile and compressed. And because of those tensile and stresses, this interplanar spacing is decreasing and increasing. And because of that, uh, stresses, because of that change in D, we have shapes or uh, change in this peak uh, width etc. We can see here that more strands broader the peaks. If we have more strain or stresses in a material, we will have broader the peaks and vice versa. The last thing is very very important, the crystallite size. We know every material is made from particles from crystallites. So from this peak width, we can calculate the crystallite size. But before this, smaller the crystallite size, broader the peak. Because if you go to nanometers, nanomaterial size are uh, less than 10 uh, nanometer or uh, less than 50 nanometer, so the peaks uh, get very broad and broad. If we have micron size particle, so the peak width will uh, decrease here. You see here? So this is the relations. But from this peak width, we can easily calculate the crystallite size. This is the formula and this beta is basically the full width at hop maxima value we know this is basically the maximum intensity here and just magnify this peak any peak and origin in the half of that maximum intensity is basically you are full width at half maxima you just draw here this vertical line from here and this area is basically your beta and it should be in a radian right so this case basically constant 0.9 value this lambda is x-ray wavelength 1.5 angstrom and this L is basically the crystallite size so from here you can find the crystallite size like this k lambda divided by beta rather very easily right now in real world uh, it is not possible but if we can prepare ideal sample ideal sample without any imperfection of the facts and if we have a perfect XRD machines so we will get a complete sharp peaks like this this is the 2 theta and this is the intensity but it is in real scenario it is not possible because it is not possible in the real world and this is why powder XRD dis display peaks like uh, this here this is the 2 theta here this is the intensity this is why we have this you see here this peak peaks having widths so this was the importance of peak with an XRD analysis.